Hi, I'm Mel's Back's friend. This is my first episode of Mel's Back's Theory. Think of it like game theory, but I'm Mel's Back's friend. So, today, we're going to be talking about something that I know is kind of disturbing, but just deal with it. Remember, I have to make my videos not kid-friendly anymore so you don't get detected as made for kids. Because I'm still annoyed at the fact that my videos have to, like, be inappropriate. Like, one of the promises I made when I first started my channel was that I'd be kid-friendly. But no, I, I had to break that promise. Like, seriously. I had to break that promise because these annoying changes to terms of service. Ah. Okay, so what we're going to be talking about today is... is Pokemon breeding. And, like... As you can see, I'm using a Spanish save file. It's because I'm doing the Masuda method with a, an English ditto. Like, I actually know some Spanish, and that's why I chose Spanish as the language for a save file, because it's... It's... It's the language I know second best, is what I'm saying. Because I know English best because I'm a native English speaker, but Spanish is second. Thank goodness the... The language I know second best is one that Pokemon games support. And it's not like, it's not like, I don't know, like, like, Dutch or Portuguese, one that Pokemon games aren't available in. But yeah. But yeah, now let's see, what was I saying? Oh yeah, we're gonna be, like, we're gonna be... Solving the mystery of this. We're gonna be... We're gonna be saying, like... What reproductive organs do Pokemon have? I know, sounds kind of disturbing, but yeah, that's what we're doing in this video. Yeah. I bet you can tell by what I'm saying that I've taken health class before. Yeah. In fact, I'm actually a junior in high school, in case you don't know. So yeah, people always say I look younger than I actually am, because I'm sure you've seen me in videos before. Like, you can sometimes even see my face through a reflection of the TV screen. And yeah, I record my TV screen with a camera because I don't have a capture card, and I want to get a capture card though, so I can make my videos more professional, but I just never got around to saving up for one. <laughs> Sorry I went off on that tangent, that sine, that cosine, that secant, that cosecant, and that cotangent. Get it? It's a math joke. <laughs> but yeah. So. First, first thing we're gonna determine. If it varies based on which Pokemon you're talking about. The answer to that, well, here's the thing. You might think... Well, here's the thing. Absolute noobs at Pokemon wouldn't even know what I'm talking about. So, egg groups... This is for absolute noobs, by the way, then explain what egg groups are. Egg groups are basically what determine the compatibility of Pokemon when it breeds. So, like, the thing is... For Pokemon to be compatible, they have to be opposite gender. We're actually probably going to be saying sex for the rest of this video instead of gender, because, like, that's a more technical term. But yeah, you see, they have to be opposite sex, and they also have to be in, be in the same egg group. Like, you have to share at least one egg group, unless the egg group is ditto or undiscovered. Undiscovered means they won't breed with anything, and ditto means, well, that Pokemon you're dealing with is ditto, meaning they'll breed with any egg group that isn't ditto or undiscovered. Yes, Ditto can breed with quite a bit of Pokemon, that means. But I did a calculation, it's like 700-something Pokemon that are compatible with Ditto. And yeah, the thing is... So... Yeah, it was like 780, I think. I think it's 780 Pokemon that are compatible with Ditto. Like, basically what I did is I took the number of Pokemon in the Undiscovered Egg group, added one to that, because, you know, there's also, there's also Ditto, which is like, Ditto can't breed with Ditto, which is something that, that even some advanced Pokemon fans don't know. 
But yeah, the thing is... Yeah, so basically I took the number of Pokemon on Discovery Red Group, plus one because of Ditto, and then, and then subtracted that from 890. Can you see... If you count the Pokemon that were removed, there's 890 Pokemon. If you count the ones that were removed. If not, there's like 435, I think? Sorry, just correct me if I'm wrong. It's either 435 or 436 because... I'm not sure if like that thing I was saying was like... I'm not sure that, that thing I saw that said the thing about the Pokemon that aren't in the Pokedex but still in the game. I'm not sure if it counts Slowpoke as one of them or not, because I know Slowpoke was added back with an update. Sorry, again, I went off on a tangent, sine, cosine, secant, cosecant, and cotangent. But yeah, the thing is, you might think, oh, that means that if Pokemon are in the same egg group, they have the same genitals, and only if they're in the same egg group. Well, here's, the, here's what I say about that. No, that's not true. And here's why. Pokemon can have two egg groups. Like, that's a possibility. They can have either two egg groups or one egg group. If they have two egg groups, then that means that... If they have two egg groups... Then that means... That... There's two different egg groups they're compatible with. And, like, that wouldn't work with the theory that... Uh, what genitals they have are determined by, like, the... The... The egg group. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there. And now, second thing we're gonna tackle. Do they externally fertilize or internally fertilize? This one should be pretty obvious. Their eggs have shells. How could they externally fertilize if their eggs have shells? They can't. They obviously internally fertilize. Meaning there's a chance that the males have penises. Because, like... Or some equivalent, because I know like that's the best way for internal fertilization to work. That's the best way for it to work. Not the only way, but the best way evolution is proven. I don't mean evolution like evolution in Pokemon. I mean like I mean like theory of natural selection. Like evolution in real life is what I'm saying. But yeah, the thing is. So yeah, and now, and now we're gonna narrow it down even more. In Generation 2, people had no way of proving, like, what genitals Pokemon have. But in Generation 3, it all changed. And here's why. In Generation 3, they added this Pokemon called Blaziken. Blaziken, if you've noticed, really looks like you can see a penis on Blaziken. I mean, seriously, it's even, like, located in the right spot. Well, right spot if you're dealing with a viperous mammal, that is. And, like, the thing is, I know both the male and female are like that, but here's my theory as to why it's like that. The male actually has the penis making it look like that. The female, well, Game Freak just did that so that people wouldn't get suspicious. Yeah, that's my theory at least. But no game for you can't hide it from me. I know the truth. But yeah, like I was saying, if the males have penises that are located right there, wait no, I forgot to mention. Remember what I said before about all Pokemon of the same sex have to have the same genitals because of egg group compatibilities. So we can confirm now that all male Pokemon have penises that are located. Where mammal penises are located, well, specifically, like, the penises of mammals that are, that are viperous. Because there are a few mammals that aren't, but a very small number that aren't. But most of them are. And yeah, we also know, based on animals that exist, that if a male's penis is located right there, that means the female has a vagina. And yes, that, I know it sounds odd for something that... I know it sounds odd for something that... Lays eggs, but yeah, that must be what it's like with Pokemon. Cause like, what are you saying? So yeah. I know it sounds odd that like, Pokemon... You know, like, female Pokemon, like... 
like lay eggs from out of their vaginas. Yeah, that just sounds odd, but I know that's that's what it's like based on my theory. And yeah, so like I said, I'm still attempting the Masuda method in, in this game, which in case you don't know is where you have where is where you have a ditto from a different language save file, and basically it makes you have a higher chance of makes you have a higher chance of getting a shiny. Still haven't gotten a shiny yet though. So you see, I took a, a ditto from one of my many English save files, transferred it into the Spanish save file, and yeah. You know, I can prove to you that I know Spanish. Like, I can actually read some of the text. Like, this thing in my coat, my, this thing in my, ah, I can't English today. This thing my cursor is on says Caja Dos. Caja is the Spanish word for box. But yeah, sorry, let me go back to what I was saying. So yeah, I guess you could say that Pokemon have sex in the daycare. Yeah, you could say that. But what you could also say then is that Pokemon hentai is accurate. You could also say that. I know that. I know that just sounds like something I shouldn't be saying, but still. But yeah. So all I could say is. The Eevee I left in there, that Eevee's vagina must be really sore from laying all those eggs. Like seriously, over 300. I've counted and I'm at like a number higher than my 300th. And yeah. And that means that I have more Eevees than there were Generation 2 Pokemon. Yes, that's what it means. But yeah, like I said, the EV in there comes from this save file, a Spanish save file. And the ditto comes from one of my many English save files. <coughs> and if you looked at my party, you'd see that I also have Carcoal in my party, which, which has the ability Flame Body, which basically means eggs hatch faster. And, yeah, so, I'm sure if Junichi Masuda saw this video, he would comment, saying, You knew it all along, how did you? You, you are right when you say that Pokemon have sex in the daycare. How would you know? That's what he'd be like if he saw this video. And the other thing I wanted to say is that... Wait, what was it? Oh yeah, tell your friends about this video. Well, that is, as long as they're in 6th grade or higher. Don't tell them that if they're in 5th grade or lower. Please don't. I don't want you sharing the truth with them. Please, just don't. So yeah, this means that the thing my brother said, I think I told you about this in one of my older videos. Yeah, the, the episode on cheat codes in this game. Like, that video, remember what I said about how my brother said the thing about Eevee covering its penis with a Joy-Con? That actually makes sense, because male Eevees must have penises, this means. Yeah. This also... This also proves this meme I saw that said that Vaporeon is compatible with humans. Because my theory suggests that Pokemon have the same genitals as humans. Well, not just humans, but all the viperous mammals. But still, you get what I'm saying. So, yeah. This is Mel's Back's friend signing off.